Hello everybody, my name is Pavel and welcome to Cost Viewer Building Hierarchies Tutorial Part 2. In this video I'm going to show you how to import hierarchies from Excel. In previous tutorial we built trees in Cost Viewer. This time we are going to import them. This approach is far more useful if you have really large or complex trees. Let's take a look at the following example. Let us assume I want to build identical tree to the one displayed in left pane. I run pizzeria and in this pizzeria I manage some resources which are either spent on making pizzas for eating in area or take away or both, which I call common. So to import such tree I am going to use the following Excel file and in Excel we will be using Cost Viewer Excel add-in Upload Tree. Let's start with example 1. This is the minimum layout you must apply in order to upload your tree. In column 1 I have some description and in column 2 I have some numbers. Bear in mind, columns headers are key sensitive. Now, I highlighted in bold all the summary rows. All those summary rows will become folders once uploaded to Cost Viewer whereas all rows carrying values will become cost elements, that is, they will become blue shaded circles marked with dollar sign. I call them leaves. So let's upload our first tree. In order to do that, I need to highlight it first. So, I uploaded my first tree and I have noticed I have no headcount column. I simply missed it. Neither do I have dates. So, I need to improve my upload. Let's use example 2 now. And here I've got some additional fields that I want to upload. And there is one really important thing you need to notice. And that field is headcount. If I want to upload numerical field, in our example this is headcount, I need to mark it with prefix NUM, which stands for numerical. By doing so, I indicate to Excel that that field is going to be numerical rather than text. So once I upload my hierarchy headcount field, it will be colored with green rather than blue. And if I skip this prefix, that column by default will become a text column, which is something I don't want. So let's upload our second tree. This one looks much more alike to my original tree. However, what I am still missing here are the keys. I don't have them. Let's take a look at the third example then. The only thing that differentiates example 2 and example 3 are the last yellow columns, which headers I highlighted in yellow. These headers represent keys that I want to define next to each cost element. I use deliberately color 
to tell Excel that these are going to become my keys. Mind you, I can use any color I want but white in order to mark those columns. However, all other columns must stay blank, colorless. Otherwise, Excel will get confused. Bear in mind that a folder cannot have key attached and a cost element may have many keys attached to it. In our example, I have five columns. So I can have up to five keys defined and attached to each cost element. So for example, owner looks after his staff. My cook is a resource which is consumed to make any kind of pizza regardless if it's taken away or eaten on the premise. But for example, my waiter cost should be allocated only to pizzas sold on the premise. Conversely, my driver's cost should be allocated to take away pizzas only. And finally, rent. Rent is an interesting one as it has two keys. This is because part of the premise, such as canteen and food pantry, are designated for all pizzas and 70% of premise area is occupied by tables. Hence, only eating in pizzas will be charged with 70% cost. So let's upload our third tree then. So I have uploaded my third tree and I can see I made a small mistake, namely my royalties have two keys. So let's delete one. That's it. In this example I have demonstrated to you how to import hierarchy of objects into Cost Viewer. Now my tree looks identical to the one I had. Thanks for watching, I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial. See you next time, bye!